So now that we passed inspection, it's time to dry this house in. We're going to paper the house and flash the windows and then put these back in. This episode is sponsored by Home Depot and Everfest. <laughs> they are paying us millions of dollars for this right here. We're using the hammer tacker to get these up. It's a glorified stapler, but it works pretty damn well. Look at that. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's stapled up there. So we're gonna drag it along and punch her in. Hold it up like that. I know we said Home Depot and Everbill were paying us millions, but it's actually grip right. Uh, they had a better deal for us. Uh, it's tacked on top. But as you see, the wind is blowing through the house and blowing it off. Next step is to tack the bottom. We punch through the windows, obviously, so we can paper around the window. Same with the doors. And then for these windows, put a few tacks around after we've cut that hole out. Now we're going to just cut around the window. Some people put their house wrap into the window, but we find it just gets in the way and it's not really necessary. So cutting it right along the edge is just fine. Here's the back of the master bedroom. So whole back of the house is done. Nice. This house wrap goes pretty quick, actually. Next step is to flush the windows. We haven't wrapped the whole house. We'll do the front of the house later, but we need to get these windows back in for the kitchen just to keep the environment out of the house. So first step, we take this material and we lay it on the bottom of the window and we get in those bottom corners just to keep that window clear the elements waterproof. Then once we're flashed on the bottom, we're gonna take caulking, which my dad has, and run that around the sides and the top we're gonna set the window in, get it level, and then once the window's in, we're going to flash around the top and sides on top of that flange, and at that point, she will be dried in. Are we gonna get criticism for cocking the bottom of the window? Probably. 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 It's YouTube. Go on the internet and complain. Yeah. Put the cocking on, we take the winder. Boom. Nice. Never fails. Never. And just like that, the first window's in, put a few screws on each side, a couple more windows, easy as that. There are the first three windows, good to go. Uh, we need to wipe down some of that caulking that's bleeding out. So before we get carried away on setting windows, we're gonna do some explaining right now because it's not a typical window and siding and trim setup. Allow us to explain. So first off on the window, you see this lip right here. Typically, you wouldn't have that, you would just slap your trim on, no big deal. This lip adds a little bit of work. Typically, you would use a one by four for the trim on the windows. You see that fits into that groove pretty nicely. This is just a scrap piece of one by four, but you get the idea. Now the siding that we're using, it is a channel bevel app siding, and it's roughly three quarters of an inch, a little less. If we had that siding that's about the same size as this trim, it would look pretty odd. You wouldn't really differentiate the trim from the siding. So we're doing something different for the trim. Here's a mock-up of what our trim will look like. 
Here we don't have a one by four, we have a two by four. Typically that two by four wouldn't fit inside a three quarter inch gap. So what we have to do is cut that relief, that dado, so that it slips right into that groove. You can see that dado a little bit better, but the groove on the window slips right into there and it fits up perfectly. I mean, that, that looks really neat. That two by four being an inch and a half wide differentiates the trim from the siding. So this is not our actual siding. This is a piece of V rustic left over from our eaves, but it's a good rough idea. And now you can see the thickness difference, which is really gonna make this trim stick out versus the other trim that would kind of blend in and, and not really look right. Again, this is just a mock-up uh, to see what the look looks like. When we actually get our siding material, we'll talk more about it, but in short, it is a channel bevel lap. It's about 11 16 of an inch thick, and it is 10 inches tall, and it looks really neat. Because it's composite, we do not have to worry about expanding and contracting and weather damage. The stuff's really neat, it's pretty pricey, but anyways, more on that when we actually lay the siding. Uh, we have some windows to do first. And with more progress done on the windows, we decided to start cutting our trim pieces since those arrived. You can see what looks like my dad ripping those two by fours, but really he's just cutting that dado so that the trim fits right around that window. And here you can see the first look at some finished trim. Here's that vertical piece that we just cut, and you can also see the finished top. What we don't have done is the bottom piece, that window sill, but soon enough, so we're really moving along. At this point, we have all of the windows in and most of the trim done, just a little bit of trim to do left on the second story. But yeah, it's really coming along and we're loving the way that true exterior trim looks. And with the siding, oh, I cannot wait. Shim in the back. Now this looks like finished window trim. You're looking at the first finished window sill, and you can see there are a few details on it, like that bevel on the top and the two by two on the bottom. Here we're going to show you how we cut some of those pieces. Right here we took a full length of two by four, uh, that's a true exterior composite two by four, and we ripped it in half on the saw. Then we set the saw at this angle on a full size piece of two by four, different piece, in order to cut that bevel. Uh, I don't recall the exact angle, but really we just kind of eyeballed it until we got the look that we wanted. Just a little bit of extra detail uh, and one of those little things that you might notice later on. With the bevels all cut, we then cut dados into each one of these. That's the slot for the window. And then we nailed these to the bottom piece that will sit below these. And with that, you see the finished windowsill. This wraps up our house wrap windows and trim video, but we have a lot more coming very soon. Thank you guys for watching.